What's good, everybody? My name is Good Good Millhouse. Thank you guys for coming by. And if you guys are new to this channel, this channel is just something that I have made to help other people that would be somewhat in the same predicament that I'm in. Just a place where if you need help in understanding social media or developing better habits or trying to improve as an artist, that's everything that I'm trying to help the younger me, in a sense, uh, try to do better in. Uh, when I first started uh, taking art seriously, it took me like a minute to, to really, really step up my game in a way, just really understand uh, better ways of learning and, and more efficient ways of trying to get myself out there. If this is something that you like and you want to be a part of, go ahead and hit that subscribe and hit that bell. Make sure all the notifications are on because I'll be making more videos more often now. I'm really trying to push myself to doing it. I slipped last month. Still, still trying not to do it again. <laughs> All right, so you guys have watched my other videos about making videos and how to record your content for Instagram and record your process drawings and maybe even come up with some voiceovers. How can you still take the same thing you just did and repurpose it for other forms of media? I'm gonna tell you guys how you guys can do it. So let's say you already did your speed art, right? And you already have it saved and you probably didn't post it. You didn't even edit it. Maybe uh, you have tons and tons of videos to like post. You can always just continue with the speed art with like some non royalty free, uh, not royalty free, with the royalty free music and post it on Instagram or post it on YouTube or post it on Facebook, whatever social media site you're trying to post it to, you can always add music to it. And take a little snippet of your speed paint, slow it down, dissect it, and you can turn a specific part of the speed paint into a tutorial. You can show people how you even got to a certain point or how did you color it or what you used to get from point A to point B. It's so very helpful and I'm pretty sure that's like a lot of questions that we all have for certain speed arts, uh, speed art videos. That is, I think one of the best ways you can actually try to do that. Another way of repurposing your videos for social media, uh, you can always do a audio voiceover throughout the entire video. You can even use your favorite part of the video and you can use this moment to talk about your day or talk about, how are you feeling in this current worldly pandemic that we're living in, this ever waking nightmare or blessing or heaven that we don't have to get up and say hi to our next door neighbors. We can just stay indoors and sing the indoor song. By doing an audio voiceover, by doing a voiceover for your videos, you can actually share to your viewers or your audience that uh, about a little bit more about yourself and how you feel about certain things. I think it's a perfect way of connecting to other people just to know like, you know, what you're doing besides making art or how you feel about certain things. Other than talking to people about your day or how you feel about current, you know, predicaments, you can also use it to inform other people on where other social media sites they, they can find you. If you are a Twitch streamer, like how I got this room set up to be in a way, to be all vibe-like, you could tell them also into in your videos that you made already for Instagram. You can tell people like, hey, I also stream live on Twitch on certain certain days or at this time of the of the day or at this time of the month or whatever. <laughs> you can use your old content to tell people where else they can find you if they really like your work. Let's say if you're running out of things to post on Instagram to keep up with the algorithm or even on YouTube or any other social media site that depends on you to upload the most, and try to stay ahead of the algorithm game, you can use the same footage that you had and maybe like pay extra attention to it or maybe slow it down, uh, a slow little process video, throw in some lo-fi music, whatever, make it into a vibe. And you can just use that as an update on Instagram saying, hey, still working on some stuff. Um, I'm posting this just to like keep up with the algorithm or something. Probably don't use that as an excuse, but let's say you can do that. You can repurpose all your old videos and use them as updates or you can talk to other people like a, like a diary or just, hey, hey, what's up? Or you can use it to say, hey, follow me on Patreon or Twitch or YouTube. 
and that of that nature. So um, if you guys have watched my other videos I made about how to make content for Instagram and how to record your stuff, this video is for you. If you haven't, it's up here or there, whatever I'm pointing the, the card at, I'm gonna say it's right here. Hope I get it right. <laughs> Those are all my other ways of how I repurpose my own like old videos for Instagram or any other social media site that I use. Uh, it worked really well for me, especially when uh, at a time where I was making three posts every day and I was getting kind of spammy. So now I'm still playing around with the algorithm. I'm just trying to see um, how my growth is if I only post one once a day or maybe twice a day. Um, still trying to figure out what's works best for my Instagram and if I strike gold I will let you guys know and tell you guys how I did it uh, right now I am currently at 908 followers on Instagram which I think is crazy I think that's a lot of people like if you put 908 people in a room you have a full-on party like everyone's invited I think that's always so crazy and man wow I'm at 92 subs on YouTube. I never expected to get this far. I wasn't think th thinking this far ahead. And you guys really did like my video of uh, the secrets to drawing like Kim Jong Gi. If you guys want to see more videos like that, let me know in the in the comment section down below. And I'll try to come up with some other ways of uh, making more structured school like style of how to improve when it comes to perspective or understanding how to draw a little bit more better and maybe improving on some habits. Just let me know and I'll take note of it and make those videos for you because I just want to make videos that help people and people that used to be in my predicament where I just felt kind of lost and I didn't know where to go or I didn't know how uh, to approach art in a, in a smart way or in a, or in a easier, to digest type of way i need to do more videos like this because uh i, I just i just feel so, I, it's, it's weird it's weird I haven't talked into a a camera in a long time I, it's so weird right <laughs> well if you guys like this video please give it a like if you didn't just throw a thumbs, thumbs down i don't care um it lets me know what you guys like more and what you don't like and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys uh, love yourself. And um, remember, you guys are improving because you are doing something anyway when you could have chose not to do anything. So you guys have a good one. Peace. <laughs>